Welcome or welcome back at C squared. In this video clip, we will construct a congruent angle to a given angle. So, first of all, let's draw an angle here. And if you rem remember, an angle is formed by two rays, which we have them here. Okay, so let's call this point A here, the point of intersection. This can be called angle A. And also, I'm going to draw another ray here. Let's call this point uh, point uh, B. And now let's start the construction. And the first thing now I'm going to do is take this compass, put it on point A here, and draw this arc. If you notice, we have two intersection points. Let me call this C and this point D. Okay. So uh, now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to draw a big, big arc. We do have an intersection point here. Let's call it E. And now for getting a point like D, this point here, we're going to take the compass, put it on C, and try to get how long this segment CD is. Notice how I drew this arc one more time. Now I'm going to go in point E and I'm going to do the same thing. Now we have this point, which is the corresponding point for point E. This one here. Uh, let's call it F. And now we Finish the construction. This angle A, how I call it here, and this angle B here are congruent. They have the same measure. Remember, this means congruent. And I mentioned they have the same measure. So you can see these both statements. You can take a protractor and measure angle A and angle B and you'll see they are the same. Um, one more thing, uh, you can call angles, very important to remember that also, using three letters like DAC will be the same thing or CAD. The same for, for this angle, you can call it angle FBE. Angle EBF is the same thing. If you enjoyed this um, construction, don't forget to click the like button and come back at C Square for more help. Thank you.